Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, we ran a bunch of side quests, which all those quests involved answering questions. I'm extremely lucky to have guessed them all. I don't know how. I don't know if the at least one was right. I just said it because I thought that would she'd like it. Anyway, last time we did some tea stuff here with Kyrie that I immediately went to Ash because I don't know eh, that was a better finisher because over here is like Kyrie's all the way over there. But still, anyway, we're gonna go right where we left off. Pick up right where we left off. Let's go to the hangar because I searched everywhere and there is absolutely nothing else for me to do. So let's head forward and see what Professor Schmidt has in store for us. And I do apologize for no episode yesterday. I really wasn't feeling good and I woke up. Today is the day I'm recording and this episode is going to be on the 18th? Yeah, on the 18th. I'm recording this on the 17th at night when I got home from work. So, yeah. No way I, this episode is going to be able to go tonight. Well, cause it's already 10 at night, by the way. If you hey, guys don't good know. morning, Reen. Hey, good morning, George. How's it going? Good morning, George. Fred Schmidt and Tito, too. I'm surprised to see you all here. <laughs> We've been busy in the research building until now. Wait, were you in there all night? <laughs> yeah, I just came to check in and... Boy, was I surprised. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen each other, so he forced me to help him with his research. Oh boy. Old man Schmidt, come on. What have I told you? Stop treating George like that. He's not your slave boy. <laughs> I could kiss about him. He should be whipped already into shape. Uh, okay. Alright. Mm, this professor still doesn't change. I just got back from a long trip, but no rest for the weary, I guess. Uh, he doesn't give anyone a break. I know you aren't one to complain. Isn't that right? You should be honored to have helped me with my research. Like always. Yeah, yeah. Some things never change. No, they do not. <laughs> well, I can... I can never tell if they get along with each other or not. You remind me of my grandpa and mom. <laughs> oh, those two are really intense. Well, they say the more you fight, the closer you are. That is true. George, do you know Tita? Yeah. Last summer I went to ZCF in Liberal. I really learned a lot from her grandfather and mother, Professor Russell and Professor Erica. <laughs> That's when I was, was told stories about the Divine Knights and Panzer Soldats. Which is one of the reasons I decided to study abroad here. I see. It really is a small world after all. <laughs> Erica Russell was rather insolent, but she had tons of promise. She may become better than Russell and Hamilton someday, though she could never surpass me. Alright, calm it down. Here we go again. I'm glad you think so highly of my mom. Isn't that Hamilton person one of the three disciples? Yes, he is one of Professor Eifstein's disciples, along with my grandpa and Professor Schmidt. I've never met him, but I heard he's an advisor at the Vern Company in the Republic. Yeah, I tried to arrange a meeting with him, but he's really busy with his research. English is hard. He's really busy with his research right now, so I wasn't able to. No, oh, I see. My grandpa, mom, and you really have a lot in common, Professor Schmidt. Don't lump me in with them. Hmm. Hmm. Professor? It's nothing. Anyway, Schwarzer, are you here for the test of the keep? Well, uh, I saw your request, but you seem busy today, so that isn't for you to decide. I have prepared everything. I just need to do the final calibrations. And off he goes, I guess. Uh, when you are ready, come to the keep. George? Fourth Disciple, let's go. Fourth Disciple? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> let's go, Tita. 
See you later, Reen. We still have things to do, so feel free to take your time. Understood. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Alright, bye guys. I'll see you at the keep, because we're gonna go there now. Sheesh. It's a good thing his disciples aren't like him. I guess I'll get ready and head for the keep later. No, we're heading now, Reen. You mean later. <laughs> Funny. Keep. Go. I should probably go when I'm not recording and go inside the keep and actually do some floors. Hey, they're prof- uh, these two are here. Oh, I can shop! Interesting, Tita. I'll help! But I already did everything that I wanted. I got everything I could. I prepare people really well. So that's good. I really need to get this. But I'm not sure. Slots, everybody's open. Cover exchange, or man's fine. Now are you ready to begin the trial? And then call your students here. Oh, and that talking cat too. This time, we'll have our two members and Selene along with us. Are we ready to do this? Of course! Hell yeah, we are! Understood. I'll call everyone now. Then we'll begin our final checks. Proceed. Yes. Understood. Rain, can you wait at the entrance? I've changed G George's voice, alright. A couple times. Rain then proceeded to contact Class 7 and Celine. And together, they waited for the final checks to be finished. Alright, what's up, George? Hey, George, are you all done with the final checks? Yeah, I pretty much finished everything last night. I'm just waiting on Tita and Professor now. But I might have gotten a little too in on the zone last a little bit overboard. So, uh, sorry, Reen, but be careful. Oh, boy. Sure thing. I'll, uh, let the students know, too. Uh, George. But wow, Tita sure has grown a lot in s just since just last year. I'm surprised she's able to put up with that stubborn old goat. Yeah, it's clear she's definitely the grandchild of one of the Epstein's of one of Epstein's three disciples. She's become very skilled at just about everything, including Panzer Soldat maintenance. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess she might be pretty skilled if that old goat accepted her as, her as his fellow disciple. As a fellow disciple, I should look out for her. Oh, that's right, you're his third disciple, aren't you? And I heard instructor Makarov from the main campus studied under him too. Oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. We were in Ruhr, and that takes me back. It was when I first started as his third, disi third disciple. The professor really worked us like mules back then. Hmm, so if you're the third disciple and Instructor Makarov is the second, who's the first disciple? Ah. I actually never met him, but I already passed away in an accident ten years ago. Wait, an accident ten years ago? I think I've heard about this. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries, and the other person lost their life. Wait, what? The first disciple was Elisa's father? That person was Chairman Arena's husband. Lady Elisa's father. What was his name? Franz Reinfort? Oh, you knew. That's right. Elisa's father was Professor Schwer's disciple. According to Instructor Makarov, he was young but very talented. Wow. He was highly involved in Professor's research and even helped out with designing blueprints. He was involved with designing old models of tanks, versions of armored vehicles that are still in use today, and even mainline tanks. Wow. Wow. He must have been some researcher. Holy. His talents were later discovered by Gwyn, and though him, and through him, he met Arena. After they fell in love, he was welcomed into the Reinfurt family with open arms. Wow. After that, Alyssa was born, and then Hundred Days War came and went. It seemed like his life as a research and developer was going great, 
Then, just like that, the accident took him away. And so, the professor lost his first and best disciple. It was around that time that he became even more of a shut-in than ever and would start to lose himself in research. That's what Instructor Makarov told me anyways. Wow, I see. If that's true, then the cause of the accident was... Yeah, Sharon. Reen? No, it's nothing. But after all that, is when you became a disciple, right, George? Yeah, since I wasn't from Ruhr, I didn't know any of the details until much later. I'd always thought the professor was a great person, in more other ways than one. Oh, and it was about that time that I first met Angie. <laughs> really? I haven't seen Angelica in a while. That means we're gonna see her this chapter? Angie! Ah! Oh, this tomboy is pain in the butt lesbian pedophile. <laughs> the first time I met her was when I went to go get research sample from the mine. Never thought I'd find the Marquis's daughter digging up ore. Oh, that's right. She didn't mention she worked at the mine part time. Although, yes, she's not technically a pedophile, she was 18 when she was hitting on 16, still... Eh, still kinda iffy in my book. I guess it's just two years, I don't know. But still, eh, Angelica, come on, just calm down those... Calm down your titties, stop hitting on everybody. Oh, that's right, she did mention she worked at a mine part-time. She also says she apprenticed this under a female martial artist and traveled around in her bonia. Yeah, that ended up being the final nail in the coffin. Four years ago, I decided to go to Thor's after Instructor Makarov recommended it to me. Angie had already been accepted into a girl's school, but she suddenly decided, Hey, Thor's look pretty good. I'll go there. And just sighed and said nothing. <laughs> maybe he thought it would be better than a girl's school in the long run. Yeah, maybe he thought that if Angie was put under all the restrictions of a proper girl's academy, she'd just explode. <laughs> There's a trip down memory lane. Anyway, that's how Angie and I both ended up at Thor's. And once they started testing the Arcus, I met Toe and Crow. Crow. I know this picture. <laughs> My baby Crow. Uh, George. I was wondering, before you came to Ruhr. Instructor Reed. That would probably... I think that was probably Kurt. I don't know. I'm just gonna give him the Kurt going. Class 7 has arrived at the designated rendezvous point. Oh, are you one of the instructor Reen's classmate? Well, more like schoolmate, but yeah. Name's George. Nice meeting you all. Good to see you again. Too, Celine. This whole place is just too much. Every time I go in here, I'm overwhelmed. I went in here when I was still in class 9 for support training, yet I'm still taken aback by how truly state-of-the-art this place is. <laughs> we use it in class 8 for combat training too, but what's this I hear about higher difficulty? Yeah, well, that's what we'll be doing today, and... Hmm, <laughs> it appears you're all here. Yeah, that was probably instructor. I don't think Tita's gonna be like, <laughs> Final adjustments for level 3 are complete. Testing will now begin. As usual, head to the elevator at the back. Understood. This way, guys. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, how thrilling. Oh, boy. I'm gonna make these two. Alright, Ash, you're gonna take over for Kurt. And you're gonna take over for Altina. Oh, you really need levels. You too. Yeesh, you're... I hope you two don't die a lot. Alright, let's go. Level 3. Begin level 3. And down we go. Here we are. 
and it keeps getting cut. Oh my god, more gates. I hope you guys enjoy how I do these dungeons. Just cut off to the chest, cut off to like um, monsters we have in battle, cut off obviously to the cutscenes. Because I feel like it's it's more time conserving and you guys get more action and more story that way than just look at me just walking through a whole dungeon and exploring and I cut a lot out so yeah level 3 seems like a whole lot bigger than the previous levels that's for sure we should assume that the monster's strength has increased accordingly this will be the first time the six of us have fought together too well yeah we'll have to make sure we're all on the same page here Musee, Ash, are you sure? Are you ready to show me what you're made of? Of course. And that's not. And that's not the only thing I'd like to show you. Oh my God, girl, stop! Stop, please! Don't forget, here, you're not just judging me here. Show me you're a teacher worth a damn. Ash, would it kill you not to fight for a few minutes? <sighs> you just never turn it off, do you, Musee? No, she does not. Sheesh, it's like I'm back at the old class seven. You didn't forget the you know what, did you? Nope, I'm wearing it right now. I'll try it out when the time. Fine then, let's just see what you learned in the past three weeks. Huh? Mm -hmm. Could it be? Are we gonna see how your training sessions with Celine have paid off? <laughs> You guys just focus us on your thing. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. G what? Nothing. You guys ready? I really cranked it up, the difficulty here, so it's not going to be easy. Still, I believe in you guys. Show me what your class can do, Reen. All right. Let's begin the trial. Iron Hulk Keep Level 3 initiated. Don't bungle this one up. I'm looking to get data out of this, not corpses. Alright, let's go. Ooh, girl! Huh, bring it on. I can take whatever you throw at me. We're supposed to be a team here. Beginning operation. My first battle is part of Class 7. I'm quite looking forward to this. Likewise. Okay, everyone, here we go. Alright, let's Beginning go. Search. Oh, can I talk? Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, Celine. I'm just supposed to be overseeing your training, but this is opportunity. Let's see what the new Class 7 can do. Alright, let us see what the new Class 7 can do. Alright, nothing there. Ooh, bunny. Do a good job. Alright. Let's do this. Form Gale. Okay, right. I'm gonna everything. You can't escape. Fire! Our chance. Oh my god. It's mine. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. Look at this. Ooh, look at that delay. That's nothing. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna scan before I actually kill them because this might kill them. All right. My turn. Mm, that one has more. Oh, I can barely move. I've got to check if they have like. Oh. It's my turn. I'm breaking so much. This is good. Everyone okay? <laughs> you did it. Oh, that was Celine. We do hear Celine here. Interesting. That's a nice yeah. touch. It's my Wait. turn. I got this. All right. See, so how do you attack from afar? Yeah. Okay, you can't. I'm going. All right. Museum. Anything over here? No. Okay. Upskirt shot. Nope, can't. Oh, hi there. Ah! Let's get this over with. I love how she styles that. 
Please don't kill Second the robot. Form, down. I know you have death. Now. She's gonna hit the robot. Keep right it up. It's my turn. Right. Battle scope. The robot is. Uh, yeah. Tricopter. I'm going. All right, arts. Arcus, activate. Here I go. And battle scope the wild dang. <laughs> this is gonna hurt them so bad. My turn. Yeah. Go, blue ascension. Here I go. You can't escape. And this should break them. Wide open. Or not. Let me Everyone first. ready? Yeah. Leave it to yes. me. You know what I should do? I should start doing rushes because yeah. I need to get the rush. Um, Let's go. The rush it's achievement. Down. Keep it up. I have the burst one, I don't have the rush one. This is the end! I'm going! Ha! Let's go! An opening! I got this. Yeah! Yeah! Jeez. It's mine! <laughs> not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. I think we heard of this like at the beginning. Look at the look at this difference though. Reedy's level 36. 36. Yuna's 30. Kurt is 30. Altina's 30. Ash and Muse are 28. Like, jeez, that level discrepancy. Whoo, we need to grind with these guys. We need to catch them back up. Probably gonna do the lower floors, even though they're not gonna get most EXP. They probably would get EXP from this one. There's gonna be a cutscene. Yep. Cutscene time with the rabbits. I won't go easy. I always like showing off battles that you can't skip. Because you're still Second gonna do form, them. Down. Miss, 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 miss. Alright. That's All right. an amazing ring. Thank you. You can't escape! Fire! I got this. Alright. Really? Oh, wow, I really have no movement whatsoever. Yeah! Hmm. Yes! I see you. Alright. Blue Ascension over there. How many can I hit? These three. I mean, these four. Arcus, activate! Oh, he's just gonna do that. <laughs> Don't give <Wow>. up! <laughs> Thanks. They hurt quite a bit. And Reen's <laughs> confused. Oh my Here god. Go. That hurt a lot. You can't escape! Fire! Our chance! Alright, rush it. Go! Leave it to me! Only to two? Wow. Oh no. Oh, because one was a good guy. <laughs> Oh, they're both confused. Oh no, this is not good. I have to do this because. <laughs> this is it. Reed and Kurt and everybody's like confused. One more. So I might as well just kill them. I'm gonna admit, the first time I nice. saw like we did it. news <laughs> you did it. of this class seven, I was kind of put off because I saw like their character designs are cool, but when I saw them, I'm like, ah, oh, it's not gonna be the old class seven, no. Like I was kind of like, eh. I wasn't into, into it, but at the same time, it's a Trails of Cold Steel game. I was still gonna get. Uh, what is that all? After all that big talk, I expected more. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not dragging the team down. 
but I'm, I'm beginning to fall in love with them. I, fe I fell in love with them like at the beginning of the game, like just everybody's so unique. I, I, I was gonna love Altina, but still, you know, guys, new characters I didn't know, but like knowing their stories and everything since the beginning, it's sl they slowly grow on you. Not at all. You're both doing great. In fact, you're so in sync, it's hard to believe it's your first time working in a team. Well, we have had opportunities to work together during our field exercises. Right? It's pretty easy to team up with people you know. It doesn't hurt that your weapons and fighting styles balance our class, balance our, balance our class nicely. By the way, that halberd of yours, I've never seen anything like it. Not only can it transform into a sight, but you can detach the head. Heh, <laughs> this baby's custom made. Randolph still got me beat when it comes to pure carnage, but this thing sells back in a few nasty little surprises. I'm guessing a prim and proper noble boy like you doesn't think that's very chivalrous. I must admit, it's not my approach to combat. But your weapon is well suited to a man of your strength and talents. Huh. <laughs> And she's got a sniper. <laughs> Muse, your weapon is an arts rifle, right? So does that mean it fires off arts like Tio staff? Well, the basic principles are the same, yes, but I can also toggle firing modes to use regular bullets. The rifle company is still developing it, but they deemed me an appropriate fit for the weapon when I enrolled here. You know, Toa fights with something similar. Though her pistol is made by ZCF. Well, no matter who makes them, they're strong weapons if you're good with magic. By the way, Muse, your aim is an incredible is incredible for a noble. Who taught you how to shoot? Some things are more fun if left to the imagination. Isn't that right? Instructor Reen. Oh boy. How suggestive. What's that supposed to mean, Instructor? Nothing inappropriate, I just helped her practice her shooting earlier, where she told me that her grandfather taught her how to shoot. Ah, how cruel of you to expose me so quickly, but it is true. <sighs> anyway, between our tell, you've both proven your adaptability. But now I want, to get, want you to get the hang of working with others, and that includes making the combat links with your Arcus units. Heh. <laughs> Then by all means, Mr. Vander, show me how it's done. My pleasure. Just don't think you'll ever perform on my lever, young carbide. carbide. Muse, I know you love to tease us, but in battle, we really need you to be all business, okay? Naturally, Yuna, men love a woman who can get down to business. Oh my god. That's exactly what she asked you to refrain from. Yeah, oh. They'll probably be fine, right? Maybe? I wouldn't worry about it. You were just like them once. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Altina. Aw. My poor little baby. It's okay, Altina. <laughs> you're not falling behind. I'm ready behind. to go anytime. I bet you are. It's a little hard to tell, but there's a ladder that goes down right by you. Thank you, George. Too I much can work. Tell. Let's just jump. Oh, of course. Well, I am in a skirt, but it's okay if you peek, Instructor. Oh boy. This group has way too much energy. Yes, yes, they do. All right, our first chest is here. Chero bomb, EP charge, celestial bomb. Nice. And of course, I'm going for the switches. All right, nothing here. All right, so this is our way out, I guess. Let me go this way. Oh, the Sepif. quick. There we go. Two chain battle. Yeah, I play that so well. Just walk away, immediately turn and just pff, right in the face. All right, dimensional bug. I'm trying to get unit CP back up, cause I'm up. Yeah, that special I did. Second form, down. And there goes down. It's down. Keep it up. 
My turn. It's, it's my turn. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Now's our chance. Inspector right. Rain. Got it. Yeah. Sit. It's my turn. There. Our chance. It's mine. Oh, more guests? Yes, more it's guests. It's my turn. This Sit time I can't. Gale! Ooh, I forgot. It's my turn. Least. You can't escape. Fire! My turn. Hey, you! Press. That's a lot. It's my damage. turn. Ooh. And movement? Jeez. That's some bad status effects right there. I'm up! And they're both Get dead. back! Alright. Yep. Nice work. <laughs> you did it! Yeah, I did. Thank you. All right, yes. we've got ourselves a proper route now. You're almost done with the first half. Keep up the good work. That's good. But yeah, we came from there. Oh, where's the... Where's the chest? Oh, that was all the way up there. Oh. Well, let me go back. I completely skipped through it. Yeah! <laughs> we were so in sync there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I suppose. <laughs> Reed's, Reed's just trying to stay, get this crazy bitch away from me. <laughs> Gloom reached level four. Updated. That's good. They get their stats updated, but more importantly, everybody else needs to get theirs. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. Any treasure chest? Wind bell. Nice. All right, now back to where we were. Jeez. I've tried to turn that. Oh no, because I turned that, I came here. Then I turned the yeah. other one on. When I turn this one, I'm supposed to go up. Okay, that's what you need to do, guys. So, future me true, leave this part in. And first half. All right. More lies ahead. Here. Five U materials. Yeah. More events. Great. Oh, giant crab. Great. That thing looks very strong. Good. I'll make thing that'll make things interesting. It hasn't noticed us yet, so we should be able to sneak up from behind and No. Let's take a hit. Uh how bold. You're doing it. Yeah, can't think of a better time. Oh? Wait, you're really gonna use your power? Don't worry, I should be able to control it now. It'll draw its attention. I want you all to work together to assist me as best as you can. Understood. Providing my full support. Oh, Altina feels like left behind. What a passionate foe. What a passionate foe, I would not. 
spirit of unification. All right, let's do that. Uh, spirit unification. It's my turn. Get back. All right. Jeez. Cross break. Who's gonna like... uh, take this. I got this. Not enough damage. It's down. It's mine. No, we're gonna fight it more too. Yeesh. What? Oh boy. Huh? Let's go. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, but I can do this. Get back! It's down. Keep it up. I need to save up. It's my turn. Time. There. Sure. Hey, you. Rest in peace! It's down! It's mine! I'm up! Get back! It's down! Music yeah, coming! That should kill both, right? Leave it to me! Huh. Yeah. And it's very unification gone. There! And now she hits both. Turn. Yeah. And done. Oh, did we win? Yes, we did. Fourteen. Wow. I should probably let him call more monsters. Whew. So, totally under control. I guess that means it worked. Instructorine. Thank goodness. I mean, you almost gave me a heart attack. So you really were able to control your power. Yeah, thanks to this pendant Emma made me. I can't rely on it too much, but it should be fine to use in moderation. So what that means is, I'm going to start using this power. The power I lost control of a year ago. In my role as Class 7's instructor. In my role as Class 7. Well, thank you, instructor. It's a good thing, really. I know it's the first time to have seen that. Sorry if I scared you. The truth is, I'm a little different than most people. It might be a little creepy at first, but... <laughs> <laughs> man. Man. I'd heard the rumors, but damn, I'm impressed. What are you calling that? Your ogre power? So, don't like you much, but I don't hate that. Huh? Silver hair and the eyes like fire. The name Ashen Chevalier should suits you. It's just a departure from your usual look, and you cut such a handsome figure with that exotic Tachi of yours. You'll be on my mind all night. Uh. Okay, I could do without both of yours input. You, Ash? Nicer, and you, Muse? Less sexual and less wanting to hop on my dick. Please? Why do you have to make everything sound sexual? I know, right? <laughs> I just can't stand her. Like, really? You have to turn everything sexual? Like, what can I say? He's just my type. There she goes, again. What do you think about all this, Ash? Me? It's like I said. The way I see it, you gotta use every trick you got. I got my halberd. He's got this. That's yet another addition to our instructor's ever-growing list of charms. But do be careful not to overexert yourself if you decide to keep using it. I will. Yuna, Kurt... Thank you both for sticking with me. And I especially want to thank you all, Tina. Me? You've been keeping an eye out for me ever since the Northern War. Watch over me and our field exercises too. I'm grateful for that. Thank you. 
I I just I did was it what was expected of me. Aw, Ellie is blushing. I am not. Here we go again. You know, you've all really grown. Alright, we should be halfway through level 3 now. Let's keep this up. Understood. Okay, newly united class 7, let's get this done. It's pretty nice. And have I missed something? I'm not sure. I'll proceed. Yeah. If anything, I'll just go back. I'm ready to go anytime. Nothing is like missable. Uh, why is there always a dug? <laughs> a girl's got to be prepared for anything. Oh boy. Hmm? Such as what? Mus no. <clears throat> Can you please focus? Yes, thank you, Kurt. And don't let them pervert poor Altina's mind. Let her be, keep remaining this ever-loving center of innocence, I guess, and honesty, I guess. But just don't, 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 don't pervert her, please. Or ducks, whatever you Ooh, want to call it. Ooh, how exciting! I know why it's exciting for you. You just want to. Professor Reen to look up your skirt and be like, oh, what are those kind of panties, Muse? Oh, you know, instructor, these kind of panties are just for you. Um, uh, can we not do this right now? Oh, don't be shy, instructor. You can look all you want. It's all yours anyway. Uh, I kind of need an adult here, please. Yeah! Treasure located. Curia. Alright, we unlock this. And that should open that one over there. Alright, need to No sweat. You're making great time. The rest of the way is pretty much a straight path. Well, yeah, but I need to I need to fix it again. Yeah. Okay, get out of the way, Celine. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I just go back here. There. Instructor, if you want to catch a peek, you can. Muse, can we stop? Please. This is getting old. Oh, but Instructor, you know... Stop. I swear. I just want to get on your bones, Instructor. I just jump on you and just make babies. Can someone bring, like, anti-horniness pills for this girl, please? We need the mace app. And so, I think I'm all set, so... Let's see what this boss has to offer. A dead end? No. I imagine we've reached our destination. I think you're right. Keep your head on the swivel. There it is. There's the swivel. That's a mega swivel. And hello you. Oh god. Giant of madness. Olif Olifimus. The monster? Wait. That's a cryptid. It's the same type as the one from before. But much... A much higher grade. That's not all. Look around us. Something's up. The higher elements are moving. The higher elements are moving? Okay, yeah, this is not how I set things up. Professor, what's going on? I tinkered with the settings to make a bit to make the test a little more interesting. Now that Shores has unlocked his power, and we got a read on new additions, I figured I'd change things up. Now oh, come on, being ridiculous. I'm picking up anomalous readings. Please be careful, everyone. I can't believe this guy. 
He's really gone overboard this time. It's all the same to me. All we gotta do is beat up whatever comes at us, right? Instructor, please consider this our Class 7 aptitude test. Will do. Alright, Class 7, defeat the enemy. What a passionate foe! Yes, indeed. Freeze breath immediately. Oh, I got this. no. That is not good. Focus arts boosting power EP efficiently. I need this for the moment. Let's go, Evan Crest. That'll make everybody everything. I got this. Yeesh. All right. You're mine. Mm, this sucks. Damn it! Oh yeah, it's arts. Oh Let's no, go. it already faded out. That's what happened. Uh, I don't want to wait. Spirit unification. So I'm it's gonna my try turn. And impede it. Crimson slash. You resist. Not on my watch. You're not hitting her. Sure. Reaper's Whirlwind. Hey, you! Rest in peace! Yeah! It's mine! Here I go! I'm gonna try and break it. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. The speed. Escape. Let's see if I can Fire! lower that. Our chance. Guess not. It's mine! I'm up! It's down! I should have used that. Keep... Yes! Hmm. Go wild! Oh. Crazy hunt! I'm going! Might as well. I was gonna recover reens. Heal wounds! Sephiral rain! Yeah, might Thanks. as well. Thanks! Thanks! I'm up! Get back! And back to normal. <laughs> I gotta break All this right. guy. Like, jeez. Uh, there we go. I got this. Yeah! yeah! It's mine! This is no good. I know. But I can hit him hard. It's my turn. Oh damn, so close. It's down! Here I go! There! Why don't It's mine! I'm up! Now more crazy hunt. Go wild! Yeah, once you break it's just amazing. It's my turn! Now! Keep it up! There! Easy. Oh, that wasn't as hard as I, I got thought this. it would be. This <laughs> has to kill it, yeah. If it doesn't kill, I still have a follow-up attack. Done already? That was very easy. Jeez. Yeah, I did HP 3! Nice! I must train even more. Stats updated. I'm giving this to Muse because Muse is a little bit in need of that HP boost. Is it finally over? One should hope so, after all that. Muse, Ash, you both okay? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? What a nightmarish beast that cryptid was. I'm afraid my legs give up beneath me, but you can carry me back, right, Instructor? You're fine. In fact, you're standing right now. The spirit of old class 7 lives on. <laughs> it's good to have students I can count on. Hey, Reen. Looks like everyone's still in peace. Oh, that's a relief. 
Perhaps these hatchlings really are taking flight. In any case, the level 3 trial is now complete. Return here whenever you'd like. Hey, Professor? Oh, boy. <sighs> this again? I've given up on frustration at this point. It's only wasted energy. I still don't know how we managed to control the three higher elements. Seriously, what's this old man hiding? It must be something. It feels like there's more at play here than just technology. Hmm. Seems like there's a dimensional distortion in this corner of the keep. It's not on the scale of the spirit shrines, but the higher elements are definitely in play here. And it's gonna control them with the opening and closing of the barriers. Well, that's something. There's no possible way. Perhaps he established the keep here. Precisely because of this place's special properties. Great. There's someone even crazier than the principal. <clears throat> That's a worry for another day. Good work, everyone. Considering that this was the first mission of the freshly reborn Class 7, I'd say you did very well. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of feel like we've improved. Agreed. I really felt the results of my tra daily training today. It seems you managed to clear your aptitude test, instructor. Well, it didn't bore me. That's something. I do hope that you'll invite us along on another one of these tests. Count on it. And Celine, thank you. Uh-huh. Well, whatever. You all worked hard, too. Alright, well, see you guys by the entrance. Thank you for your work. Please come back safely. Oh, we did defeat this monster. Waterfall! 3,000 Mira! Hey, let's go. I'll meet you guys by the entrance again. Back at the entrance. The trial's over. Shall we return to the entrance? Yeah. Good work, everyone. Huh? Oh, it's you! Oh! Hey! How's it going, guys? <laughs> it seems to finish your trial without incident. Elise and Toa, what are you two doing here? And where's Professor Schmidt? No, oh, he already back. Went back to his research building to compile his data. I'm here for what you promised me, Reen. You haven't forgotten, have you? Of course not. I told you we'd have lunch together and that's what we'll do. Wow, it's already lunch time. It's easy to lose track of time down there. <laughs> Sorry for the trial, it was so hard this time. Now that I think of it, my stomach feels empty. Something smells heavenly. Elise, did you perhaps? Make lunch for Rain, yes. Yes, in fact. I had Toa and Tita help me prepare some budge box lunches. <laughs> how about how about we all have a picnic together, everyone? I guess sure. Let's get have that picnic. There's gonna be a lot of cutting. I think more than twenty minutes. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Celine devouring the fish. Of course. This is amazing. Agreed, it's so colorful, it's quite pleasing to the eye. And it's all just so tasty. It's all my stress is blowing away. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed so much. The three of us worked really hard making them. I only helped with the prep work in the morning. But we made one for the professor too. What should we do about his? We can just get it to him later. I'm sure he'll eat it between his experiments. Mm. Oh man, this fried chicken is so crispy on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside. It's incredible. The omelette is really pretty too, and it's got this unique flavor I can't quite place. We use the soup stock to flavor it. The recipe for it is in the East. I got it from a friend of our family. If you'd like, I could teach it to you. For real? 
I'm always for expanding my cooking arsenal. High level girl conversation detected. Hmm. <laughs> we best not fall behind. Someday I shall create a beautiful lunch brimming with love for Instructor Reen. Uh, give me a break. Reen? Um, do you not like it perhaps? Oh no, it's amazing. It's just made me feel a little nostalgic. Like I was back home with mom and dad for a moment. Oh. Well, of course. I use Schwarzer family seasoning after all. Please eat to your heart's content and stomach's content. <laughs> well, if you say so, how can I refuse? Aww. They're totally in their own little world. Hmm. It seems Elise will be the biggest obstacle I must overcome. Oh, um, this fish isn't too bad either. Oh, Allie, what's wrong? You were looking at me like that in the keep too. If you got something to say, spit it out already. No. Watching you and Instructor Reen earlier made me feel uneasy, but I'm not getting that feeling anymore. You mean... Hmm? Hmm. I guess he had changed. A little, at least. It's nice that I don't have to worry so much about him losing control of his power, but he still takes on more work than he should. So he'll probably need as much... much help as you, as the others can give, and the others can give him. Ah. Understood. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, not bad. The taste of a homemade meal. I suppose it's been a while. <laughs> What's the matter? You miss your mama's cooking? Your family's in Heimdall, right? Why not just visit whenever you want? Being on my own is another kind of training. I can't just keep relying on them all the time. Surely you miss the taste of home after being away for three months? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Mom's cooking was kind of crappy, but I guess I miss not having it. Oh? <clears throat> anyway, this ain't gonna be enough to fill me up. <laughs> well, look what I found. Some extra sandwiches. No, you don't. Jeez, I just can't let my guard down around you for a second. We have plenty of extras, if so please eat as much as you like. Yes, let me at him. All right, Goku, calm down there. Save the rest. F save some for the rest of us. What a nice bonding time. This is nice. I like it. Makes me feel joyful. Afterwards, they clean up their picnic, and each of them went their own way. After paying a visit to Professor Schmidt. Rian walked George to the station, where his train back to Ruhr was waiting. Take care, George. Sorry I couldn't give you a better re reception. <laughs> Nonsense! Well, not only did you treat me to lunch, I got to meet the members of the new Class 7. I'll let you know if I can dig up anything about the Black Workshop. Please do, that would be a huge help, I mentioned man. it to the professor, too, so he might have some info for you eventually. Thanks. I really appreciate it. That man reversed. Engineer the Divine Knights S to make pants for soldats. There's no way he doesn't have some connection to the workshop. But even if he does know something, there's no guarantee he'd tell us. Yeah, it's worrying. The professor is side. You've got a rough road ahead of you. But I know you'll be able to overcome everything that comes your way, Reen. Thanks, man. Thanks for having that confidence. You in too, me. of course, Toa. <laughs> right. So, will you be joining the Institute of Technology as soon as you get back to Ruhr? Yeah, but that's not all I'll be doing. I plan to reach out to our classmates from Thor's. Uh, well, except Angie, anyway. Why? She's touring the continent on her motorcycle now, isn't she? She sure likes to leave live. She sure likes to live on the wild side. 
I'm sure Angie will be back before we know it. Once she's around again, the three of us could get together. For sure. Well, I gotta get going now. I'll see you next time, Elise. You too, Celine. Oh, yes, certainly. Make sure you don't eat too many sweets. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, later, guys. Later, George. Have a good one, man. It was good to see you again. Goodbye, Joe. <laughs> Goodbye. I miss him already. He's still in Arbonia, so I'm sure you will have plenty of chances to see him again. Until then, let's work just as hard as he is. Yeah, can do. Elise, Celine, you two can take this afternoon to relax. <laughs> I believe I will. You two need to attend that briefing or whatever it was, right? Well, try not to fall asleep. I'll try. I'm gonna have that brief in here. Hamilton was too busy and declined? Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. Now, as you can see from this handout, the next location for our field exercise will be in the Western Lamar. It'll be Western Lamar. Okay. Places we've never been to. The nearest city to the, will be port, the port city, Ortis. That said, we'll be farther from civilization this time than prior exercises. In addition, our designated area of time will extend as far east as Raquel. I see. From Raquel to Ordis, eh? I'm no stranger to either of those places. It's going to be really wide range this time. Oh ho, and we'll be near my former palace. Your palace? Oh, you mean... You know no... You know Naval Fortress, right? That was the Noble Alliance headquarters during the Civil War, right? That's correct. When the war ended, I found myself there with Wallace and 50,000 soldiers. I considered making a last stand there, but news of the Northern War reached me. I did some negotiating, and that's how I became a lapdog to the, of the government. Is that really something you should blurt out like that? <clears throat> Principal Aguin, you may wish to keep your commentary to yourself. You all may already be aware, but there is a reason this was decided upon as the location. All the highest ranking nobles will be gathered there for a conference. The Imperial Provincial Council, right? I heard it was going to be held in Ordis this year. Will you be attending too, Principal Aguin? Up to two years ago, I had regularly attended the conference at Ca as the Countess Laguin. However, I've since pulled away from the political front lines, so I don't plan to attend this year. You and the students will have to bring honor to our school without my or the professor's help. Judging from last time, I suspect we'll have another incident. It seems likely the society will make another move. Hard to say if they'll be running another of their experiments or what. Either way, we should be more prepared than usual, especially with the gnomes in the picture, too. Looks like it's not just ours to have gotten all fired up. You've all got a good mindset. This should help us get a leg up on the main campus. Really? Get a leg up? Principal Laguin, that's... Oh, have you not heard? The main campus will be honing its own field exercises starting this month. What? Not just the branch campus? Proud Crince has decreed that the main campus shall also assist with the Empire's crisis. Though they'll be in location from us, they will depart on the same day. I, I see. But where could they possibly be headed? They're much bigger than us, but are they going to use a special train to get there too? One word from Prince's mouth and BAM! That's a tyrannical empire for you. 
Mm. First, this is confidential information. Second, we are getting off track. Again, we'll hold our field exercises in Lamar. We'll depart on Friday night, and the duration will be four days. I expect each of you to have the planning documents memorized by tomorrow. All right, all right. Don't get your panties in a twist, my man. And it's already afternoon, geez. Goodbye, Principal Le Guin, you beautiful, beautiful woman. If you were romanceable... No, nope, nope, I can't cheat on Sarah, but if you were romanceable from the first game, but it would have been awkward because I was a student and she was a full-grown woman. All right, goodbye, Randy, goodbye, Toa. You be careful out there, guys. Mortis, huh? I saw this coming on account of the conference being held there. But now that I know for sure, I'd get in contact with Eusis. He should should have been in attendance at last year's conference, too. I should head back to the dorms now, though. Elise is waiting. I think I remember overhearing Principal Gwen saying something earlier. I wonder if she needs help. Oh, boy. Great. Received bonding points. I got... And a... Arcus message. Two bonding points. But we'll do that in the next episode. We're gonna just stand here in the middle of the hallway. Here. There we go. A good view of the outside. Alright. We're gonna stand here and do our outro. This episode, just to keep in a few cutscenes, it, it's gonna be a lengthy episode just because of the cutscenes. Anyway, I do hope you guys are enjoying these videos because I surely am and... Oof. I just can't wait. I just can't get enough of this game and can't wait to see more of the okay. story. Okay. All right, Reen. Well, getting to it. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like and share. That always helps out. Subscribe to become part of Moon Army today. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.